Hello, everybody. Hello. It's two of the toys here. Junior's with me. This is a kit that I've been after for a very long time. Not the Cage Ninja Shaz... What a brilliant name that is. Cage Ninja Shazaku. It's one of the BB Senshi model kits. Uh, precursor to the SD Gundams. Because I've been looking for this particular mold. Can you can you stop leaning on the table, please? Because you're making the angle pose lamp wobble. Thank you. I've been looking for this Shah's Zaku, and it's incredibly hard to get hold of. But it was re-released as the 33rd in the series, redressed. So it's just um, what do you call it? We call it a recolor. Or a retooling, I should say, with some ninja-esque accessories. So we have, uh, on top of the original kit, which is just you know, just painted black, really, we have um, some stickers for his headband and his chest. And he has, look, he's got swords and a spiky axe, which he can hold on his Dad. back. And he's got a re-sculpted head. Does he have a stamp on his lip? No, these ones don't have stamps on their legs. You're you're thinking about the more recent ones, because you're um, what's it called? Well, you've got one. Um, you've got one with a stamp on his leg. Doesn't it? Some other kits in the same series. This looks like a, a Zeta Gundam and a double Zeta. But, um, yeah, those ones aren't reissues or retoolings of older kits. They're completely new molds. Let's have a look. Three stick, three eyes to go. Yes, packet of these old SD kits. They don't have the silver foils. It's like um, a shiny paper sticker. What did I say about wobbling the table? Thank you. Sorry. So, yeah. Brand new stickers, um, not not very Zarkuous, but if I just wanted to you know, redo uh, as a as a an ordinary green Zarku or Shah Zarku, I could just use this eye. I don't know, but I quite like this eye. It's a happy little eye, and it's got the eyeballs as well and the symbol. Of, well, I think we can just get decals, water slide decals. I'm sure we've got some Zeon symbols somewhere. This is the re. Well, newly sculpted head. I say newly sculpted, but this kit is actually from when? When is it from? Let me see. When is it from? Let's have a look on the box. How much was it? Bargain at 300 yen. It's a reissue, reissue of a 1989 kit. So old, but made in Japan still. So yeah, the, these are the extra bits that they did for this release. It's got like um, some spikes for his fist. This thing here. You have to paint. Yes, it's all like a, a bluey color, which doesn't match, does it? I mean, his head is supposed to be black. Other parts are black. Yes, a metal spring because a signature feature of BB Senshi kits is that they fire BB bullets. That's what these are for. And you pop them out and you can put them in a, a big gun, which is this thing, and it'll fire it out. So it's got a, a great big bazooka, which uh, they don't do that anymore in the SDs currently. So this is, you know, they're still called BB Senshi, aren't they, even today? Or are they just called SDs? So this is what I'm after. The original Zaku, and notice it doesn't have poly caps, it's just styrene little C clips for all the joints, and they're not going to hold up very well, are they? For, for joints, they'll go floppy very quickly, but that's not something that bothers me, I just want the sculpt. So, this is molded in a very deep, dark blue navy colour. But uh, I'll be painting that to whatever color I want. And it's the, the change in the mold. Can I focus in there a bit better? There's an extra peg on his wrist for that claw thing. And I know 
notice on his little tiny backpack there's an extra little hole there so you can plug in um, a little holder here which will accommodate these axes and weapons and swords and what have you for the cage ninja but what I actually want this for is for this guy vintage mold Zaku 2 look at that even the shield is both halves yes what's this thing I don't know yep Oh yes! You've been looking at the comic book, haven't you? Mm. Yeah, the old ones used to come with these comic books, and there's the Cage Ninja. He's got green hands, so he's actually dressed up in a black ninja suit. And there he is. Dad. Yes. But not, but not only these ones. Remember, I have a. Banshee and had a comic book. Oh, your friend came along, didn't he? And he, he, he brought brought you a SD Banshee, you lucky thing. Banshee uh, Norn, wasn't it? The last episode, yeah. Mm. Right. Cage Ninja Shizaku unboxing. And here's what he looks like completed right out of the box. No paint or even the stickers. Cage Ninja Shinzaku. Was it Shazaku? Yeah, but I'm not interested so much in this form, but rather regressing him back to his original. Get rid of that head. Either. Because this is the original sculpt of the SD Izaku 2. It's really hard to get a hold of this, you know. I mean, if you look on the internet for this, I think you will have trouble finding it. This is the Zaku number 2, and it doesn't even say SD on the packaging. On this first three or five of the SD series, I'm looking for this one. I really want this one. RX78 2 in its original SD form. I've got photos of. If you have any idea where I can get hold of that, let me know because I want this sculpt of the SD RX78 2 with the BB gun. Beam cannon. Got as a re release. In the form of this guy. I don't mind that it's wrong color plastic. I'll paint him up however I like. And you may be interested to know, doesn't he look like the SD that we already have of the Zaku 2? I've taken the horn off this one. And no, he's quite quite different. And um, let's see, his legs are much longer on the original version. There's a lot more thigh going on in there. Sculpt is entirely different. The hands, you can see, look at the fist. Huge in comparison to this guy. And the body here, the upper chest, is a lot rounder. And the boob area is a lot more angular here. And the piping is all sculpted into the body. A lot more separation happening in the newer version here. This didn't come too much longer after this, but the backpack is tiny in comparison to this one. Yeah, I'll have to get rid of that. I'm sure that circle is a new addition for the Shizaku. I can get rid of that and this peg couldn't come off. I'll snap that off and putty up the hole, no problem. Yeah, the, the spikes on the shoulder, very, very different. And it's just a, a more open-faced here. So, and a very stubby antenna too. A lot more squat. See, less, less, less not flatter top to the head of her. This is the massive dome here. Very, very different. Shield, completely separated. Much more up to date, this one. 
just two halves stuck to his arm closely here. This one has a lot more articulation and it's different articulation as well. This one, the newer ones, the legs go side to side and this one, it's no side to side but backwards and forwards. No polycaps, polycaps. The, the front, the sculpting. So, just give you a quick glimpse of this one. This is my um, customized Zaku 1 version of this Zaku 2. Take, so I've taken all the piping off. I've got to do something about this chest. This is still the original Zaku 2 chest, which I have to fix into the Zaku 1. But you can see because it's primed it up, it's easier to compare. The sculpt is very different too. And how does it compare to the much more modern? Just a second. This guy. Oh, I've got so many Zarkus. In SD form. Yep, very different. So I really wanted this because it's so unique. Much more cute, these ones. And here's his bazooka for little babies. Load him up. And there's a spring, this is L launcher thing. Kaboom! Next time you see this, it should be fully painted. Hopefully. SD Vintage. BB Senshi Zaku 2. In case you're wondering, Junior's gone to bed already. Bye!